All right, y'all, the professor here, Malik, again, with some news on Alberto Patron, also known to the WWE Universe as Alberto Del Rio. There was a autism charity event for the Lone Star Championship Wrestling in Houston, Texas, that Alberto was signed uh, to show, and for some unknown strange reason, he no-showed the event. Some are saying he seems to have disappeared. It says after he no-showed the event for the Lone Star Wrestling in Houston, Texas on Sunday, organization head Chris Ron Quillo issued a statement this afternoon expressing concern for the former WWE superstar well-being. He says El Patron seems to have disappeared. Almost 24 hours later, we still have not heard from the camp of Alberto El Patron. Mr. El Patron was booked through our co-promotion partner Clutch City Productions to headline the Bustin' for Autism charity pro wrestling event in Pasadena, Texas last night. Mr. El Patron would not know who we are directly since his camp's dealings were with our promotional partner. Like the charity and fans who purchased tickets, we are, we are affected a lot of time uh, and money and effort was put into, the, into this event. Those who know us understand that we strive to put on uh, quality events. We are a company that our fans can trust. Mr. El Patron's unexcused and unexplained no-show unfairly taints that reputation. Though we were not directly involved in the negotiation and booking with El Patron's camp, there is no doubt that the Bustin' for Autism team were more than fair and gracious in the process. At this point, our thoughts are initially with Mr. El Patron's well-being. He seems to have disappeared. Once that, once the dust settles, we are confident that Mr. El Patron will do the right thing and return the deposit he was paid, along with the premium travel funds lost by the charity. We might also suggest that Mr. El Patron take it a step further and make an additional donation f f to the charity. We would like to thank the fans and sponsors who stepped up to support this event for the Bustin' for Autism 501 uh, C Group. We would also like to recognize our co-promotional partner, Clutch City Productions, who put forth an incredible effort to promote and help organize this event. We look forward to working with them and the Bustin' for Autism folks in the future. In closing, we also thank the wrestlers who stepped up to make this a memorable event, as well as the many staff members and volunteers who contributed in some in some manner. Well, well fans, uh, those who are fans of Alberto El Patron, I think, well, hope nothing bad has happened to him, and I hope he turns up healthy and in one piece and, you know, I uh, just, uh, just hope uh, uh, nothing bad has happened because this seems to be uh, a recurring event with wrestlers. You know, we lost Dusty Rhodes. We lost Buddy Landell. Let's just hope he's alive, okay, and well. And, you know, this issue doesn't become serious. <clears throat> In any event, um, uh, me personally, I'm a big fan of El Patron. And like I said, I've been seeing him on TV, and I hope to see him return on TV someday. Hopefully maybe in TNA, Ring of Honor, or better yet, Global Force Wrestling. Uh, let me know your comments and thoughts. Uh, peace.